I said 1980 there, and uh, Javier Bardem says in the film, it's from 1958, and the reason I blurted out 1980 so quickly is, um, well, at least this is the way I'm going to phrase it, I was answering the harder question. What year is on the quarter Javier Bardem taunts a gas station proprietor with in No Country for Old Men? 1980. Uh, the film takes place in 1980, and there's no title that says, you know, West Texas 1980 or anything like that. The only way you know that it takes place in 1980 is from that scene where Javier Bardem asks, do you know what year is on this coin? He says, 1958, it's traveled 22 years to get here, et cetera, et cetera. And that's the only way you know, you can piece it together, that, uh, you know, the film takes place in 1980. And without thinking, I had the 10 seconds, I didn't take them, I just blurted out the answer to when it takes place, but, uh, yeah, not the question I was asked. So for 10 seconds, I was racking my brain. And I, okay, prop from Fargo. Prop from Fargo. Your first question, what prop from the movie Fargo is now on display at the Fargo, North Dakota Visitor Center? The wood chipper? Unguent. The axe. I, why would they display any of these? And then kind of at the last second, I did figure out, oh, that's... That's the prop from Fargo. I think the wood chipper is the most appropriate thing to display at any visitor's center, honestly, whether it's Fargo or not. Um, just something that macabre, letting you know that, no, actually, outsiders are not invited in this town, I think is a good thing to have right up front at any visitor's center.